I look great. Do you? This week we're going to be looking at hardware, specifically cameras, microphones, lighting and a few techniques to help you look better on video. So I'm going to run through five different home office setups at five different budget levels to show you what that might look like. Before we do that though, I want to talk to SalesFeed's very own Dan Baresh, our video producer, about the importance of quality video. Just as it's important to dress for the role you want, it's also important to make sure that you have the right camera and audio setup so that people can hear and see you clearly. If you have a lower end laptop, you really want to think about upgrading your video and especially your audio to make sure that you can really show up well in those calls. If your video is not totally perfect, but the person can see you, fine. But if your audio is really crackly or there's some loud background noise or it's just a bit of echo in the room because you're using a, you know, a kind of a garbage microphone, that's the first thing that I would recommend really trying to improve because that means that what you are communicating is going to be understood clearly and that's frankly the whole purpose of meeting, right? Here's our pretend office for today. Let's get started. So this is the most basic setup. We're using the built-in webcam and microphone on our company-provided MacBook Air. However, without spending any money, there are some drastic improvements we can make to this setup. If you put your camera at the same level as your eyes, and then you additionally angle it so that your eyes are approximately two-thirds of the way up the frame, that's gonna make you look the best. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is increase the height of the laptop so that the camera is at eye level with us. To do this, you can use a stack of books, a laptop stand, or even a standing desk if you have one available. The number one way to improve your setup without spending money is to think about where the window is in the room and to place your setup based on the window. You never want the window to be in the background. The sun is such a powerful light source that it is inevitably gonna be way more powerful than anything in the room and you are just gonna look dark and if your room has a lot of echo, you can add a rug to absorb some of the sound. We're also going to give that camera lens a quick clean. And just like that, we should see some drastic improvements in the way we look and sound. Making sure that we're eye level with our prospects, not talking down to anyone. So this, of course, is better, but what are some affordable things that we can do to improve this? We're going to add a pair of headphones to our setup. For this video, we're going to be using the Skull Candy inked headphones. And we're also going to change the light bulbs in the room to a daylight bulb. For daylight bulbs, you're going to be looking for a temperature of over 5,000 kelvins. I also find that having daylight bulbs helps with my energy throughout the day. A cheap headset like this is going to have a couple of extra benefits. Number one, you're going to block out outside distractions. You're going to be able to hear your customers better. But also, this microphone is closer to your mouth and is often a little bit better than the one inside of the MacBook. Microphone quality, a lot of it is about the proximity of the microphone to your mouth. So this is a really nice microphone, but it's actually really just giving great audio quality because it's like right next to me. The further away you put that microphone, the more you're hearing of the echo in the room. Most people have a set of these lying around anyway. All right, let's start spending some real money. First, we'll get a headset and or a USB mic. For our headset, we're gonna be using the Razer Kraken. For the USB microphone, we're gonna be using the Blue Snowball. Then we'll add a webcam. For our webcam, we're gonna be using the Ava Media Live Streamer Cam 313. A lot of webcams will advertise 4K, 1080, HD. What you wanna feel is that this is something that is really showing your room as it looks to your own human eye. And lastly, we'll add a ring light. You can pick up a generic ring light for around $15 on Amazon. Some come on tripods and others you can clamp to your desk. This one even comes with colorful modes as well. A lot of these ring lights come with a phone stand. Most smartphones these days have incredible cameras and microphones already built into them. This is going to be higher quality than almost all USB webcams on the market. The downside is you can't share your screen on your phone, so you can't use this for presenting or demos. A USB mic and webcam like this is as far as you need to go as a seller. It's all very simple to use as well. The blue snowball, the webcam and the ring light are all simple USB plugins. You can also consider using the microphone on a headset like this one. A lot of these webcams come with built-in mics like the one I'm using now. However, I find the quality of a USB mic or headset to be better. As a seller, you probably won't need to go any further than this. However, if you're super passionate about your quality, you want to start a podcast, a YouTube channel, or you frequently present on webinars, 
then the next level is for you. Before we take a look at the next setup, I wanna tell you about today's video sponsor, Vidyard. Vidyard is a free platform that allows you to easily record, edit, and send your prospects videos. They have a super easy to use Chrome extension and even let you know how many times your video has been opened by your prospect. Whilst Vidyard is free to sign up for and use, they're also offering 30 days of Vidyard Pro for free if you use the promo code TechTalks. The pro plan adds branding, further analytics so you can see how much of your videos are being watched, and the option to add a call to action so that your prospects can book time with you after they've watched your video. We've left the link to sign up for free in the description as well as the promo code TECHTALK so you can get your 30 days of Vidyard Pro for free. Back to the video. The first thing we can do is replace our USB mic and headset with a high-end USB mic. For our higher end USB microphone, we're gonna be using the Blue Yeti. Next, we'll replace our webcam with a camcorder on a tripod. For our camcorder, we're gonna be using the Canon Vixia HFR800. And we'll add in a second ring light to make sure that we're well lit. And this is what that looks like. This setup, while more expensive, is gonna be ideal for people who frequently talk on webinars, wanna start a podcast, or are just starting out on YouTube. A setup like this one is gonna put you in the top 1% of sellers. And most people are gonna be very impressed by this quality. This is really where the curve of how much you spend versus how much you get back starts to flatten out. You can still do better than this though. For the highest end setup, what we can do is replace the ring lights with box lights. Replace the USB mic with a boom mic. For our microphone, we're gonna be using the Rode NTG2 multi-powered condenser shotgun microphone. Keep in mind, if you wanna use this type of microphone, you will need an audio interface. In this case, we're using the Behringer Euphoria UMC202 HD and replace our camcorder with a professional camera. For our high-end camera, we're gonna be using the Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera in 4K and the Canon lens will set you back another $1,500. And this is what that looks like. This is a professional quality studio setup. I would only ever recommend this to professional content creators, big YouTubers, people who make videos as part of their job like myself. The reason being, this comes with a hefty price tag. But as a result, the quality is incredible. I, the subject, am very well lit, more so from one side than the other. I'm in focus while my background is out of focus. My audio sounds great from this directional boom mic, which is only picking up audio from this area right here. But yeah, this would be total overkill for any regular seller. I gotta know though, what do you think?